What is up guys, girls, kids, everybody in between, what is up? My name is Dan Wolak, Yuko Ambassador, also owner of Cold Cracker Bushcraft and Appalachian Bushman School, where I train individuals in the outdoors, survival, bushcraft, long-term wilderness living, and today I'm gonna share some of them skills with you. Now today's video is gonna be about how camp life can be that much more comfortable for you with these simple little tips, tricks, skills. Uh, it's gonna be great and you are absolutely going to love it. And it all starts with this. Yeah, a stick. Yeah, I get it, a stick, but a Y branch. Beautiful, I mean, these are so important to us. And you're gonna see why, because I'm gonna share with you 10 ways this Y branch is gonna make camp life better for you. So you get into camp and you realize that you've nowhere to hang your gear. Maybe the ground is all full of snow, maybe it was raining. Maybe you just wanna hang your coat up and you don't wanna throw it down in the dirt. Have no fear, Y Branch is here. Okay, I'm not gonna keep making them jokes. I'm sorry about it. Um, why am I sorry? I'm kidding, kidding. Okay, um, Y Branch right here. So you can see what we did. We just split the back section of it off. Really easy, real simple. Now we made ourselves a little hanger. So all that I did was I went ahead in this, I put a small notch here and a small notch here. I'm gonna tie this to a tree and then that quickly I have somewhere that I can hang all of my gear. Coat hanger, backpack hanger, food hanger, whatever you need. That quick, that easy. All right, so you are now in camp your backpack's hanging up and you're setting up your shelter and you realize, oh, I forgot my tent pegs. What am I gonna do? Y branch. Okay, so tree is growing in this direction, okay? Down tree, whatever you can find. We got that Y branch. We're gonna take the main part of that branch, we're gonna cut that around eight to 12 inches. You can either use your knife or feel free to use your saw, whatever you got along with you, or break it with your bare hands. All right, that's cut and spiked. Now, this side right here, we're gonna cut this about an inch. So, I mean, really easy stuff here. I'm just gonna take my saw and cut that free. Now, you might be thinking, what's happening? Turn that over, and we just created a tent peg in one, two, three. Super easy, this is gonna hook on, drive that down in, and you have yourself a perfect tent peg. So now your shelter's all set up and what you realize is that you need to collect some firewood. But some of the really good firewood that you wanna to use to burn that fire all night long and stay nice and warm in these cold temperatures is still up in the tree. So in this case, again, I took a Y branch, I cut it the same as a tent peg, but I left the peg part really, really, really long. This is gonna give me a nice hook in order to reach out and pull some firewood. So great example, I have a nice big branch there dry, dead, it's just hung up, but I can't reach it. So really easily now I can take my Y branch, I can hook it, give it a pull, and down it comes. Simple, easy, dry firewood, when you need it, how you need it. So the next thing that we're gonna do is start our campfire, but if you start your fire with any type of fire starter or natural material and you just throw stuff on top of it, you really quickly smother it out. So the Y branch can help us with that. So when you're gonna start your campfire, you're normally gonna use some type of fire starting device or natural material. And just like I showed you previously, if you just throw the material on top of that, you can very easily smother it. But utilizing a Y branch as a backstop allows that fire starter to stay protected. So as I lay my material across this, it's still allowing air underneath, okay? This Y branch is allowing air to still get to our fire starter, it's still allowing it to burn, it's not allowing me to crush it. At this point then I could pile on my wood and begin my campfire. Now, it feels at any point while this is going that it is starting to smother. We can simply take the back end of this and lift it up. 
You could see immediately that flame enlarged. That's because more oxygen got to that fire starting device underneath and you're gonna be good to go. Now your campfire is burning for a while and you threw a water bottle in there to boil some water to make some hot chocolate or a cup of coffee. And then you quickly realize you don't have any way to get it out. You don't have a big heavy glove. Maybe you don't have a pair of pliers with you. What are you gonna do? Y branch to the rescue yet again. So we just took that Y branch. You wanna make sure this one is green because we want the bottom of this branch to be flexy flexy. Okay, that's very important. And then all that I need to do is take this and stick it down inside my bottle. So we're just gonna place this in like this, give it a little push down, and when I pull up, it removes my bottle. And just like that, you can pull your hot water bottle out with a very simple Y branch. Now the only downfall I can say with this is it's difficult to get this out without breaking the Y branch. So it's almost like a one and done type thing, but it's still super viable, super important to understand and an easy way to get your bottle out of fire. Now very similar to the last tip and that is getting pots and bottles out of the fire pot in the fire sometimes if it's totally emerged hard to grab on that thing can be hot so people usually try to get a stick and balance it y branch hooks really easily off you go i mean it's almost like you want to carry this through the woods that way you get my point though very easy way to scoop your bale and move it around now one of my most favorite apparatus to cook over is a uh, woodland cook system. Again, utilizing Y branches. What I have here is a simple Y branch and what I have here is another Y branch. I push them both down into the ground. I then take a straight stick and I can either put it over my pot and hang my pot over the fire. This works really well with Dutch ovens and cast iron. It also works great for making coffee. You don't have to worry about putting your pot directly into the flame. You can then move it out of the way really simple and real easily if needed and uh, it works absolutely great. There's a ton of different ways you can hang your pot off of here but to be most simplistic, two Y branches sticking up and a cross member always gets the job done. Now there's always accidents that can happen at camp and one of those accidents might be you are around a wet area and you take a step and you realize that your boot was a lot shorter than the depth of the water. So next thing you know, your boot is flooded with water. You're just pouring gallons out. And you gotta dry your boots out. So how do you do that? You can just let them sit like this. But in my case, with these boots, a lot of times they fall over and you just can't get the dampness out. It just becomes an absolute nightmare. But not if there's a Y branch around. Really simply, we can stick this down into the ground. And then what we can do is we can make a boot dryer. So we take the piece in the back and we just put our boot over it and we let the boot fall forward onto the front stick. Now what that's going to do is that's going to force the boot open on the bottom. It's going to allow the water to run out and dry. It's going to allow air up into the inside of your boot. You can also make a taller boot hanger and put a small fire underneath it. That's going to get a lot of that heat up in your boot and help dry it out a lot quicker. So a boot dryer, definitely something to think about. Easy. Breezy, Y branchy. <laughs> now the next thing that we're gonna take a look at is tent pegs. Yeah, I just showed you how to make tent pegs, I know. But those tent pegs and even something like this plastic tent peg or a metal tent peg that you might be using can cause problems. And it can cause problems depending on the weather. Let's use Pennsylvania where I'm at right now, for example. During the day, we're above 30 degrees, but then throughout the evening, it drops well below freezing. So if you wake up really early to get out on the trail, there's a good probability that those tent pegs that were earlier in soft ground are now frozen solid down in the ground. And pulling them out with your fingers sometimes becomes extremely difficult. Not when you have a Y branch, not when you have a Y branch. And that's it. We're gonna use the mechanical advantage of this to be able to get more grip 
on our branch and give it a pull. That's gonna give a good strong tug and pull the tent peg out. Now, of course, that was easy for me here because it's not freezing, but I guarantee if we were shooting this video first thing in the morning, that would have been a little bit of a struggle and this would have made it a lot easier. And then last but not least, probably one of my most favorite ways to use a Y branch is to cook two marshmallows at one time. I mean, who doesn't love to eat two marshmallows at one time? I mean, it's great, it's wonderful, it's good. And you can just keep milking kind of the same what I'm saying. And there you go, smoking guns, 10 ways that you can utilize a Y branch at camp to make life just that much better for yourself and your other campmates. I mean, who would ever thought? Easy stuff, you just had to learn it. And I taught it to you, so I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, if you haven't checked out all our other blogs, go check them out, yukogear.com, all kind of fire starting stuff and awesomeness, just check it out, all kind of good fire starting things, cook kits, all that stuff. Definitely check all that out. And thank you today for joining me. Um, again, Dan Wowak, Yuko Brand Ambassador. Hope you enjoyed this video, and like I like to say, stay in the woods with your Y branches.